Alright guys, today I'm going to briefly demonstrate how you might measure and mark out where your grid lines would be on a photo if you don't have a ruler at home. I'm also going to demonstrate how I might recommend drawing some vertical lines if you don't have a ruler at home. So, I'm going to be using paint to do my marking only because it looks clearer on the video. On yours, you probably want to use a pencil, and you, but you'll see what I mean, that it's hard to see the pencil line on mine. Our first step here is going to be to use both of our hands, spreading our fingers like so, or apart like this. Either way, we're going to use our hands as a guessing tool and a checking tool as well. So I'm going to first guess what I think is about half of the height of this paper. My fingers are indicating that over here. Then to check if I guess right, the same size should fit beneath my fingers as well. So I'm going to use my other hand to check my work. What do we find out? I guess pretty close, but not quite right. I've got a little bit of space down here beneath my thumb. So I'm going to widen my fingers a little. I'm going to come back. And I'm going to check again. Now that looks pretty darn right. Just about all set. Double checking again. Using one hand, my left hand is my gauge. My right hand is checking. Satisfactory. So I can use a pencil to mark. Kind of see that in there, right here. I can use a little bit of paint as well, just so you guys can see a little more clearly. Now, in addition, I would recommend dividing into at least quarters for this project. So I'm going to do the same thing, and I'm going to say this seems like about half of the top box. Checking. I was a little bit off. Adjust. Check again. And I can do the same thing on the bottom. So to divide into quarters, I have three marks. And I'm going to do the same thing going across as well. Trying to find my half. Trying to check my work. Seems like I guess pretty well on that one. Seems like the very center of my pointer finger is about the halfway point. And I can do the same thing again, guessing that this is about half. Notice my fingers are staying the same distance apart. It seems like the center of my pointer finger is again the right spot. making sure to check my work. Now what I've done here is only half the battle. I have to make sure, or maybe even only a quarter of the battle, really. I have to do the same thing on the top and bottom. If I don't, all my lines are going to be crazy and crooked. So I'm going to find my halfway on the vertical. About like that. Moving that paint out of your way. Sometimes it takes a little back and forth, but that's okay.
Now I'm going to do that last one more time and finish up on the opposite side. hand, gauging with this hand, checking my work, adjusting a little bit more, and now this right about there, I saw that I had a little paint spot already marking it out, a little bit big. You can also use your ruler as a measuring tool. So, for instance, I believe that from this to about here, this mark that I've already made is one half of my height. My pencil tip is marking one end, my thumb is carefully marking the bottom of the image. If I'm right, it should fit in exactly. Pretty doggone close. So, that seems good. I'm satisfied with that. Now, if you do not have a straight edge or anything that you can use as a ruler, which is why you're watching this video, you also may have trouble finding something to use as a straight edge to draw against. So, what I would recommend is taking any old random thing as long as it has a straight edge. If you haven't got paint on your paper like I do, you could use a book, you could use a sketchbook, a random board that you have, whatever you want to, there's lots of options. I'm going to use the cover to a sketchbook because I happen to have it handy. So I'm going to go and line up my straight edge on one of the marks. This time I'm looking on the one in the bottom. I'm going to put my pencil against it and slide my straight edge to the pencil. I'm going to pivot until it's right on top of my line on top. And you can see up here that it is. And then I'm just going to draw a line across do that on all of them. If I feel my pencil slip when I'm lining up my straight edge, I need to take a moment, pause, and go back to correct it. Pencil on the mark, ruler against the, or straight edge against the pencil, pivot to the top mark, and connect. Same thing going side to side. Now again, it's hard to see on this video. This is now broken down into quarters. I would recommend dividing it one more time into eighths. I find that smaller boxes make it a little bit easier to use this technique. Now, if you want to try it with just the fourths, that's a thousand percent fine. I just recommend for ease of use, breaking down a little bit more. So, that is a quick way of gridding. If you don't have a ruler, 